Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to learn how to create retro seamless patterns using the pattern tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump right in. First, I'm gonna begin by creating an RGB file at 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now that I can see my artboard, I'm just going to open the swatches panel. We're going to need it a little later on, so I'm just gonna make sure I've got it ready. To find your swatches panel, head to window and swatches. So let's first begin by creating our triangle shape. We're going to do this by heading to the square tool or hitting M on your keyboard and drawing a square on our artboard. I'm going to make mine about 150 by 150 pixels. Now that I have my square, I'm going to access the pen tool by hitting P on my keyboard and I'm going to draw a line from the bottom left corner to the top right corner of my square. To turn my square into two triangles, we're going to use the Shape Builder tool. It looks like this icon in your tool panel, or you can access it by hitting Shift M on your keyboard. Hit Control A to select all, and with your Shape Builder tool ready, left click on both triangles. You now have two separate triangles. We're now going to create a copy of the triangles we just made. So hit Control A to select all, and whilst holding Alt, drag to the right hand side to create a copy. Then hit Control A again to access everything, and whilst holding Alt, drag down to create eight triangles. It should look something like this. Now that we've got our eight triangles arranged in a square, it's time to decide on color palette. The color palette I'll be using, you can see on screen right now. Feel free to jot down the hex codes or take a screenshot so you can use this color palette as well. Select one of the triangles by using the direct select tool. You can do this by pressing A on your keyboard. With the triangle selected, hit I to access the eyedropper tool and select one of the colors from our color palette. I'm just going to repeat this step for all eight triangles until I've got a pattern that's appealing to me. Now it's time to make our seamless pattern. Hit Control A to select everything, then head to Object, Pattern, Make. And just like that, Adobe uses some magic and suddenly we have our pattern covering the entire artboard. How cool is that? You should now also be able to see the Patterns Option panel. This is going to allow us to create some really unique patterns really fast and very easily. That's what we love. Tile Type is a really fun setting to play with that can give you some incredible outcomes. By hitting the drop down menu, feel free to go through and select the different options until you find one that looks really cool to you. I'm a huge fan of the setting brick by row and brick by column. That's going to shift half a tile in either the horizontal or the vertical direction. I always find a cool outcome when I use these settings. You can also play with how much brick offset there is. Right now we have it set to a half, which makes a lot of sense for our original tile but you could also find some fun answers by changing it to a quarter or even a third if that's what you're into. For me, I'm going to stick with a half because I think it fits best for my design. And finally, there's the copies option. Right now mine's set at five by five, which works great for our square artboard, but there's some different aspect ratios that might work better for your design. And finally, I'm going to name my pattern Retro Try One. And I have to admit, I'm absolutely in love with it. Hit the back arrows until you make it back to your artboard with your original tile. Now this is hands down the coolest part of this whole tutorial. Hit M on your keyboard to access the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle covering your artboard. Now, head to your swatches panel and with our rectangle selected, find your brand new pattern and select it. Yep, 
Now you can use your pattern whenever you like for any of your future projects. Just head to your swatches panel and it's ready for you. We here at Pixel Surplus want to know what you think. So head down into the comments and let us know if you enjoyed this tutorial and what you'd like to see from us next. Whilst you're down there, we'd love it if you could like and subscribe and even ring the little bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you check the description, you'll find a link to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to the best fonts, textures, mockups, templates, video tutorials, and font bundles on the internet. These font bundles are incredible. I'm talking premium fonts at 90% discounts. You really need to go and check it out right now. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day everyone.